your strength up. Ah, um, thanks, Mom. Almost there now, Penny. It's Sam! He's here! Get him out, Sam! Or say you will! Of course I will, Dillis. OK, Penny. You secure the rope to that signpost. I'll check on Norman. OK, Norman. I'm going to abseil into the well to get you out. Right door, Sam. Nice and easy, Sam. Oh, isn't he brave? Uh, ah. mind about that, Norman. What were you doing in the well, Norman? I'm sorry, ma'am. I couldn't wait for my birthday to get a new skateboard. When I heard the well was full of pennies, I thought I could use them to buy one. Oh, you're a very impatient boy, Norman Price. I know. Sorry. It's just I really loved my skateboard. That's why I bought you this. Now, on one condition, no playing in wells and no skateboarding in your mum's shop. I won't. I promise. So, come on, then. What was it you actually wished for, Trevor Evans? I wish you'd made cheese and pickle sandwiches for the picnic. I don't really like crab paste. Oh. You can do it, Elvis! Hello, boy! I'm hanging around, looking down at the ground, gonna tighten my hat in case I go... Ah! Ah! Yeah! Well, well done! Well, nice well, nice well, one, Elvis! Elvis. <laughs> that leaves one more to abseil. A dog? Abseiling? <laughs> I've heard it all now. Not Radar. You, sir. Uh, me? Oh, up there? You did say it was essential for the modern firefighter, sir. Look out below! Oh! 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 Yes. Oh! oh, that one hurt! Oh, oh dear! Oh, dear! Oh, oh, oh. Sam! Stop! What's the emergency? There's some trees on fire in the forest. We're worried it might spread. Oh, it sounds serious. Maybe I should come along and help. Well, what about your TV show? Uh, uh, I'm a fireman first, remember? Wow! It's Fireman Sam. And here comes Tom. Cool! Everybody OK? I'm feeling a bit weak. Uh, a sandwich might help. Oh, not now, Norman. I guess it's too late to get to your TV show now. Not if you go by helicopter. Jump in, Elvis! Wow! Fantastic! Just like a real superstar! Elvis! Wait! Don't forget this! Good luck! We'll all be watching you! Thanks! I'll be back on duty tomorrow morning! It's a scarlet crested waggle warbler. <gasps> Don't move, Norman. And now, all the way to Ponty Pandy, Mr. Elvis Bridlington. This one's for all my pals back in Ponty Pandy. 
uh, especially Fireman Sam and Penny and, of course, Station Officer Steele. The best workmates in the world. <laughs> Did you hear that, everyone? He said my name. I sing my songs till I think I'll burst, but I never forget that I'm a fireman first. A tingling, a tingling, just one more burst. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> Norman Price's cousin is lost in the mountains. Uh, the cake will have to wait. Boy lost in the mountains. Norman Price thinks he knows where he is. So, can you stop by the Cup Price supermarket and pick him up there? Taken Derek this way. He must be around here somewhere. We'd best turn the siren off in case he's calling for help. Help! 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 Oh, listen, I think I can hear him. That ledge is unstable. We'll have to get him off as quick as we can. We'll work as a team. It'll be just like when we rescued your key, Elvis. Only this time, I'll be the hook. Right, Elvis, you control the winch, and Penny, you give him directions. OK, Fireman Sam. OK, slowly, Elvis. He's nearly there. Now, hold on to me, Derek. We'll be up in no time. Oh, thank you. He's got him, Elvis. Now bring him up. Nice and easy. There we are. Safe and sound. Norman, haven't you got something to say to Derek? Sorry, Derek. I made up the story about the flowers and I tricked you with the map. I just wanted Mum to think I was her only little treasure, not you. That's OK. I understand. It was quite fun, really. You forgive me? Ah! <laughs> cool! You've got a hand buzzer! Come on, you two jokers. Let's get you home. And let's get back to my cake. Help! Oh, listen! Someone's shouting! I better call Fireman Sam. Ooh, an emergency flare from the cliffs. Oh, 
Tom has sighted an emergency flare, Sam. Somebody must be in trouble on the cliffs. Tom will be today in the chopper. Goodness, there's Tom. Here's Fireman Sam! It's Penny! She's stuck at the cliff! You have to help her! Don't worry, Mandy. We'll save her. Tom, lower the double harness! No worry, Sam. Coming right up. Oh, I'll be down. OK, Tom. Take it up. Slowly now. And well done for not letting it off. Congratulations, Mandy. You're a hero. <sighs> a compost heap fire of the floods. It's just you and me, Sam. The others have gone to the flower and vegetable show. That's where we're going, too. Everyone, leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way. Stop, Sam, no! Much, Sam and Penny. I had no idea a compost heap could be so dangerous. That's why I advised Mike to dig it over and let it cool down. Mike? Uh, yes, it's true. Mandy kept reminding me too, but I wouldn't listen. I suppose I thought I knew better. But how come the fire started all by itself? When Mike picked the marrow, it created a hole, you see. The compost was already very hot, and when air got into the hole, it started the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I so wanted this show to be a success, and now I've ruined everything. No, you haven't, Dad. I love you, kid. The flowers and vegetables are still intact, aren't they? Oh, yes, sir. Apart from Mrs. Tomato. Great! Then let's get on with the judging. The winner is... The Mustard and Cress, grown by James and Sarah. Yay! Yay! But that's not all. There's an extra prize for the funniest entry. <laughs> the stuck-on tomato plant in the fire bucket. <laughs> Who won that prize, then? Uh, you did, I'm afraid, sir. I'm ever so sorry, but I had a bit of an accident. You what? Oh, Ridlington! <laughs> <laughs> Tom Thomas calling Fireman Sam. Come in, Sam. Receiving you loud and clear, Tom. I've located the bus, Sam. Up on the Valley Pass. Oh, looks like Trevor skidded off the road and got stuck. It's really foggy down there. Thanks, Tom. We're on our way. I hope everyone stayed on the bus, Elvis. You could easily get lost out there. Yeah. You wouldn't catch me wandering about out there in the day, let alone at night. Oh, oh that sounds like 
Tom's helicopter. Here, I'm over here. Please. Oh, he doesn't realize I'm lost. Norman? Is that you mucking about? Is everyone okay? Oh, Sam, I've never been so purified. Okay, uh, let's get you back on the road. Um, where's Trevor? He went for help. Such bravery. He left the bus. I'll see if I can reach him. There's no signal. Trevor could be anywhere out there. Elvis, could you attach the tow rope to the bus while I call Tom? Right to Sam. Tom? It's Sam. Trevor Evans is out here somewhere. We're going to need your help to find him. Don't worry, Sam. But I'm going to need someone up here with me. You can count on me, Tom. OK, Sam. We're ready. Oh! Oh! oh, oh we're free! Shame we haven't got a driver. I've got a dog. A big one, see? Woof! Woof! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh, lion! What are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> there! Look down there. Looks like he's stuck in the bog. Well spotted. Looks like I'm going to have to lie you down with a double harness, Sam. Ready when you are, Tom. Trevor! Uh, yes. Lion kept me company. Oh, Tre Trevor Evans Barbecue has set fire to a tree. There's a barbecue blaze at the picnic area. I hope you're all paying attention in this morning's lesson. Well, Elvis, it looks like you'll be eating those sausages sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. OK, Sam. OK, Elvis. Turn on the water. <gasps> Ooh, Sam, look. There's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Everyone, back, please. Penny, keep spraying the gas canister to keep it cool while I put out the rest of the fire. Don't worry, Sam. I'm on it. There. All out. See if there are any sausages and king prawns left, Fireman Sam. Sorry, Norman. Gas canisters can stay hot for a very long time. It won't be safe to go over there for quite a while yet. Oh, I'll just have to take the rest of my sausages home. And I'll have to take more king prawns. But I'm so hungry. I never even got a sniff of those sausages or the prawns. Maybe next time you should set your barbecue away from the trees. And maybe a little less charcoal? Well, you're right there, Sam. Uh, it was my fault too, Trevor. I was showing off a bit. Now no one can have my sausages. Or my king prawns. Wait a minute. That oil drum has given me an idea. There you go. One barbecue. 
Perfect for sausages and king prawns. But this time, you'll have to cook together. No worries. Thanks, Fireman Sam. I've got to give it to you, mate. Those sausages do smell good. Well, so do your king prawns. Maybe we can both be the barbecue champions of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Bonzer idea, mate. Lion's trapped in a flooded basement. And Mike's in there with him. Well, get me out of here and we'll go and rescue him. Uh, uh, the door seems to be stuck. Penny's right. I can't move it either. I could always use the axe. No, no, no. Uh, don't worry about me. Go and rescue Mike. The public always comes first. Well, if you're sure, sir. Come on, then. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> I hope Mike's OK. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. Follow me. Right. He's in here, is he? OK, Mike, I need you to stand back. I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. Shouldn't you shut off the water? I'll get the pump ready. One thing at a time. The first thing we need to do is make sure Mike is safe. Mike, are you a safe distance back yet? Uh, yes, Sam. Grab my arm, Mike. Well done, Sam. Oh, Lion is safe. You did stay very calm. And you did one thing at a time. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I wouldn't have got into such a mess. Don't worry. At least you're safe. Yes. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Come on, Mike. Let's go and do our duet. Uh, wait a minute, Elvis. One thing at a time, remember? Yes, I I'll shut the water off at the mains. Elvis, can you help me get the pump to pump out all this water? And I'll go and get old Mrs Steele out of the <laughs> cupboard. Then we can all meet at the quayside for Elvis and Mike's big number. Come on, Elvis! Yes. Come on, Elvis. Yes. Come on, like you're oh, a Very good. good! Come on, boys! Splish, splash, I'm having a wash. Splash, splish, feel like a fish. Splish, splash, I'll be out in a flash. We're doing splish, splash, you mean splish, splash, splash. <laughs> hooray, 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 well done, boys. <laughs> I mean, well done, men. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many Mandy did catch. <laughs> Apart from her whale, a starfish, a crab, is that all? <laughs> Here's Sam. Quick, Sam! The whale needs help! Go on, Penny, you better get down there. Lead on, Mandy. Oh, I hope the whale is all right. Are you sure it's not a shark? Yes, it's a whale. And whales are gentle creatures, Norman. Sam? How are we going to get it back into the sea? High tide is hours away. Oh, I know. We can roll it in. It's too heavy, Norman. And it might get hurt, silly. It will be OK, won't it, Sam? Have I ever let you down, Mandy? No. We're going to need Neptune, Penny. OK, Sam. Hello, Tom. Pretend you are putting out a big fire. I mean a really big one. Oh, ah, uh, like this? 
Mm, could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I can slide down the pole if you'd like. <laughs> <gasps> Excellent. Good idea. Oh, good. Where you belong. It's time now, Mandy. over. Back to work. Yes. Time for me to get on with all my little jobs. Help! I'm stuck! Norman! Oh, someone else in trouble. Help! Mom! I can't move my feet! Oh, my! What have you gone and done now? It's the quick-drying cement. It only takes a few minutes to set. Don't worry, Norman. I'll get you out. Sorry, Mum. All I ask for is a bit of peace and quiet. That sounds like a smoke alarm. And that sounds like an aerosol can. Oh! Oh. My shop! I'll ring for the fire brigade. Dennis, stop! You must never enter a burning building. Don't worry, Sam. I'll go home and phone from there. It'll be quicker for me to run back to the station and get help. Hurry, Sam! Oh, sorry, James. Emergency. I'll bring it right back. Wow. Oh, I don't understand it. I thought we'd be rushed off our feet today. Oh, dear. That's not a very dignified way for a firefighter to spend his day off. No time to explain, sir. There's a fire at Dillis' supermarket. A fire? Oh, action stations at last. Have a go on one of these. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you are back, Sam. Wow! Look at all that smoke. It smells like summer meadows. Elvis, switch the electricity off. Okay, Sam. Shame all fires don't smell this nice, eh, Penny? So, did you get all your jobs done, Sam? No, no, I didn't. Uh, but I saved Mike from the roof, I stopped a runaway bus, I freed Norman from the cement, I ran and skateboarded all the way back to the station to sound the alarm, and I helped put out a fire. Oh, so that's why we didn't have any emergencies today. Yes, Sam was dealing with them all. What are you doing here? Where's Mandy and Norman? Is something wrong? I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Norman and Mandy in trouble? Ooh! Radar has come back to the Nuts house by himself. 
Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Well done, Radar! You did it! Mike! Are you okay? I I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. Oh, Mike! Okay, everyone, stand well back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike! Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, I was trying to herd them into their pen. With radar, eh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, Mike. Give me your hand. Oh, oh thanks, Sam. <laughs> Perfect. When's everyone else getting here? I'm so hungry. They'll be here soon. I know. Let's have Norman's ghost story while we're waiting. OK, but it's not a story. It really, really happened. Yes, Norman. Get on with it. It was a dark and stormy night. Halloween. The ghost of Pontypandy was wandering the empty streets, clanking his chains and howling. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like a puppy than a ghost. <clears throat> The ghost, all dressed in white, went up the hill to the house where he used to live. This house. He walked right through the wall and into the living room. Then he went up to the window and took off his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And he's standing there now, staring at you. Go on. I dare you to turn round and look! OK. Oh. Oh. <gasps> it's on fire! Call Fireman and Sam! Ooh! A, a fire at Mike Flood's house? There's a fire at the Flood's house! Quick as you can! Is it Mike Flood's bonfire, sir? Probably. I expect it's got out of control. We're supposed to be going there after we come off duty. Yes, so uh, I might as well come with you. Well... The bonfire, is it, Mike? No, the fire's in the sitting room. Breathing apparatus on then, men. I really don't 
think you're well enough for this, Penny. Uh, perhaps I should go instead, sir. Sorry, Cridlington, but Penny's the expert here. She'll have to take Neptune. Look, I'll do this one last emergency. Then I'll go home. OK. I've never heard it so busy. It's no good, Radar. I can't stay away a moment longer. You can do this, Penny. You can do this. You can do it. Oh, oh, it's no good. I'm putting everyone at risk. I'm really sorry, sir, but I, I'm too ill to do this rescue. You'll have to bring Sam in. OK, Penny, just stay where you are. Help is on its way. Elvis, tell Tom to bring the helicopter down to the quayside. I'll get Sam to meet him there. Will do, sir. Sam! Yes, sir? Ah! What? My word, that was quick. I'm reporting for duty, sir. What's the emergency? Why has Neptune stopped? Something's wrong. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you hurt? I think I got a fever. Uh, uh, Let's get you off here. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Penny's been taken ill. Oh. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. Now. Let's get that propeller untangled and tow you back to shore. I'm so sorry. I should have stayed at home today. Though I admire your sense of duty, you risk putting yourselves and others in danger. I know. I won't do it again, sir. And I'm sorry, Sam, for calling you in on your day off. I was on my way in any way. It's hard to stay away when you've got the best job in the world. You're right there, Sam. Sam Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not scared, are you, Trevor? Because if you are, I could always go first and be the leader. No, Norman. I'll do it. Come, Trevor. You're not scared of heights. You can do this, boy. Mustn't let the kids down. Just attach the safety wire. OK, here I go. One, two, three. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Help! I'm stuck. Get me down. Oh, dear. This is in the rescue center and tell Tom he'll call Fireman Sam. Hang on, Trevor! I'm going for help! Tom! Tom! Oh, no. I'd better try and call for help. Um, hello? Hello? Fireman Sam! Fireman Sam! Who's that? Norman Price! Norman Price? What are you playing at? What? Trevor in trouble? OK, we're on our way. I can't hang on much longer. Fireman Sam is on his way. OK, Trevor. Let go and we'll catch you! That was awesome! Are you alright, 
Trevor? Oh, I think so. Wow! A triple somersault! How cool is that? Wasn't Trevor brilliant? What do you think, Norman? I'm sorry I doubted you, Trevor. I just wanted to be the leader. I'm sure one day you will be, Norman. You know, I think you're the best leader we've ever had, uh, apart from Sam. <laughs> well, I don't like to blow my own trumpet. Oh, you forgot your packed lunch. Yay! So, how's it all be going then? Trevor was really brave, ma'am. You should have seen him up there on the zip wire. Oh, I missed all the fun. Do it again, Trevor. I'd love to see you in action. <laughs> The fuel tank's empty. It's a good job I keep a spare can in the cabin. I got one! <laughs> <laughs> well, um, really to then station officer steel? Stay back, Charlie. I'll secure the area. Aim this at the base of the fire. Good work, Charlie. Ooh, the engine's burnt out. Looks like we'll have to call for help. Fire at sea. Charlie and Station Officer Steele adrift. You're with me, Penny. You stay here and man the station, Elvis. There's a fire at sea. OK, Sam. Good luck. Hold tight, Sam! Hello, Charlie. What happened here, then? It's all my fault, I'm afraid, Sam. You may not be the best sailor in the world, but when we needed a calm head in a crisis, you were the man for the job. Oh. And it looks like you've got to catch. Ooh. What a whopper! Yes, took an age to land it. Why don't you bring it back to the cafe? There's enough for everyone. <gasps> Great idea. I just called Elvis. He said there was an emergency. I'm ready and able. Oh, you're very good. No! Oh, I wish the same could be said for my van. Kitchen fire at the flood's house. Action stations, everyone. Going to plug this in. Uh... <gasps> oh, the cake! It's the oven, Sam. A cake's caught a light. Don't worry, Mike. We'll take care of it. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first over there. Right, oh, Sam. Okay, Sam. Well, I think we can safely say that the cake is baked, Elvis. Oh, no, Mom's cake! My 
kitchen? You should never leave a hot oven unattended. But I set the timer on the cooker. Well, you obviously set it for too long. Oh, sorry. It's my fault too, Sam. I should have made sure he set the timer correctly. But what about my mum's surprise party? Oh, I got it so wrong. I was rotten to Mandy and Sarah. I wanted it to be so perfect, you see. Look, we've still got time. If you'll let us help you. I'll have another go. Mandy? So long as you don't knock, Norman. Uh, I, I won't. I promise. Are you sure everything's all right, James? You've been acting very strangely all day. There's... there's nothing wrong, Mrs Price. It's my Norman, isn't it? He's in trouble, isn't he? Oh, no! <sighs> there's something going on and I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, no! Uh, no, 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 Mrs Price! Come back! I could punish the cucumbers again! Oh, That's surprise! surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Birthday, ma'am. Oh, no, man. You didn't forget. Did you organise all of this by yourself? Well, um, everyone helped a little bit, but it was mostly me. Oh, my little treasure. Oh, um, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bus um, stranded on the beach at Crab Scuttle Cove, and, 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 and the tide's coming in fast. Okay, Penny and I will take Jupiter, contact Tom, and tell him we'll meet him there. <laughs> Leave it to me, Sam. And well done, Elvis. Nice work. We'll make a station officer of you yet. Station officer Cridlington. I like it. Absolutely not. That's far too risky. We'll stay put and wait for help. In 200 yards, stay put and... Don't worry. Everybody, Sam will be here very soon. Oh, my belly. Maybe he's seasick. Oh, my poor precious puppet. Aha! It's Tom Thomas. Help is at hand. Come in, Tom. Good night, Sam. Send down the winch. The bus is nearly underwater. We're going to have to lift everyone off. No problem. I'm lowering the double harness now. Right here, Mandy. You first. Don't be frightened. Frightened? This is awesome. That's it, Tom. Steady now. Cool. I'll go back for the others. Soon have everyone safe and secure. Good work, Sam. Yeah. OK. That's the last one, Tom. Good job. Thanks, Sam. Over and out. That silly satellite navigation system must be faulty or something. You see? You just can't trust all these newfangled gizmos. But we'd never have been rescued without our mobile phones. Well, well apart from mobile phones. What about our walkie-talkies, sir? Yes, well, obviously, apart from mobile phones and walkie-talkies, but don't you have a computer back at the fire station? Well, yes, yes. Oh, I suppose some modern gadgets do have their uses. Until they pack up and land you in trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, Station Officer Steele. Maybe we should have stuck to your good old-fashioned map. Oh, yes. Well, put it there, is it, eh? And never. E easy does it. Ooh. What's that? Great fires of London. 
That'll be James Jones's plane again! <laughs> okay, Sam. It's all right, Dolly. I'll make sure you're safe first. Don't get off! Gotcha. Well done, Elvis. Oh, hey, there's a note. Oh, dear. James and Norman are stuck up a tree. We'd better get Tom to get you down quickly, Elvis. Penny, you man the station. I'd like to give James his plane back personally. Rescue them the same way we rescue Dolly. Not this time, Elvis. We need to rescue Norman quickly. Then, James, you bring the tarpaulin and I'll bring the ladder. Uh, no problem, Sam. Hurry! I can't hold on for much longer. Just let go, Norman. We'll catch you. Uh, whoa! Oh, oh. Wow! That was fun. Stay calm, James. We'll have you down in a jiffy. Thanks, Sam. I believe this is yours, James Jones. Um, uh, yes. Well, as you put it to good use this time, we'll say no more about it, eh? Oh, thank you, Station Officer Steele, sir. Yes, it was very brave flying it into Ponty Pandy, even though you knew it could get you into trouble. And you were an ace pilot. Almost as good as me when I scared Station Officer to open. Ah-ha! I might have known. I was only teaching James how to fly. No, you weren't. Well, there's only one thing for it. Remote control, please, James. Thanks, Norman. Now my plane's confiscated. No, James. It's about time someone showed you both how to really fly this plane. Oh. Oh, yes! Uh, <laughs> it's all coming back to me now! Yes! Yes, we turn it up over first! Time! Time! <laughs> 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 there! And Mum and Sam will be miles behind! Well, that was a rotten trick! Like I said, there's no way I'm going to lose this race! Store. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. <laughs> Easy peasy. <sighs> but the sign said this way. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh, yoo-hoo! Norman! <gasps> How did they get here? You said you and Mum would be miles behind. Come on, I know a shortcut. Hey, I don't like all this cheating, Norman. I call it winning. Come on. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh. Well, oh. Norman and Mandy didn't hang around. We can, though, can't we? They can't hobble another step. OK, let's rest here for a bit. I thought you were ahead of us. <gasps> so did we. <laughs> One of those signs pointed us in the wrong direction. Funny. We got here OK. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. We are last again. The race isn't over yet, Dillis. Who knows what might happen? Oh, I can't walk properly. We should go back. What? And lose? I told you, Mandy, I want my name on that trophy. Ow! Oh! Oh! What's wrong? Oh, my foot. It, oh, the pain. I can't untie it. Uh, we'll have to call for help. Uh, help! Help! Ow! Help! That sounds like 
Take me, Norman! It's coming from over there! Go always get bored of the Cadbury store! Go always get bored! Go always get bored of the Cadbury store! Norman! Are you okay, Poppet? Oh, I've got to hurt you, ma'am. Did you lose your way? That's one way of putting it. Well, if you weren't lost, then... Norman Price! You weren't! You weren't! She ten, were you? Yes, ma'am. Ugh, I can't get this untied. And we haven't got a phone, Dennis. We'll have to go on foot. Oh, that could take weeks. Not with the mood I'm in, Norman. Come on, Sam. Best foot forward. You always get more at the cat price store. You always get more at the cat price store. It's an emergency! There's a high-rise fire! But never fear, here comes Sam, Penny and Elvis to the rescue! Ooh. Oh, this is awesome! James, let's get a bit closer. I can't move. They'll be needing aerial assistance. Aha! Oh, Thomas, it is helicopter. There's two boys on the roof! Looks like they're in trouble. Elvis, we'll need to use Jupiter's ladder for this one. Oh! It's my Norman! And my James! Ah! <gasps> okay, we'll soon have you back where you belong, boys. Of shame, ladies and gentlemen, it's Norman Price. Oh, what were you doing up there? Well, James? Sorry. It was my idea. I thought we'd get a better view of the rooftop rescue. You became the rooftop rescue. So there you have it. The reason we put safety first. Fire stations can be dangerous places for little boys. Well done, sir. Your open day was a real success. Yes. <laughs> Radar really has mangled that boot. I wonder whose it is. Uh, it's one of yours, sir. Uh -uh. My boots? My boots were used? But how? Red leg turn! Sorry, sir. Elvis has left the building. What? An out-of-control rocket heading for the high street? Ooh. Come in, Sam. There's a rocket heading towards the high street. This is not a practice run. Don't launch anything until we get back, Mike. Good job we had that training exercise, eh, Elvis? Yeah. So, where's this other rocket come from, Sam? <gasps> Out to space. This has got Norman Price written all over it. Oh, no! Be shop! Norman, what have you done? Great fires of London! Elvis, you man the hoses. Penny, you secure the area. Okay, okay Sam. Sam. Everybody back, please. The rocket may be unsafe. Ah, so this is your rocket, eh, Norman? Uh, no, yes, it was an accident. Okay, but right now I need to know how you made your rocket. Is it made from anything dangerous? I, I can't remember. 
I just did what it said in here. Uh, just more of it. Hmm. You're sure you didn't put anything else in there? No, just that stuff. Lots of it. It's a simple bottle rocket. It's just a very big one. I think it's all going to be okay. I'm sorry. I thought I could build a rocket that was as cool as Mike's. Mike has spent years learning all about rockets and how to build them safely. It's not something you can learn in a day. I know, Sam. And now I've ruined Mike's launch, too. Not necessarily. Once we've made sure the shop is safe, there'll still be time to get up to the cliffs. Thank you all very much for coming. And a special thank you to the Pumpty Pandy Fire Brigade for being here to make sure everyone is safe. Here, here. So it just remains for me to say... Five, a four, three, two, one! Whoa! Get on there! See, Norman? That's what a rocket should be like! It's brilliant, Mike. Thanks, Norman. Hey! Remember you said you'd help me make a rocket? Yes, but you're going to have to wait a while, Norman. Why? I've got a certain supermarket window to fix first. <laughs> the ladder's broken! Oh, then how am I going to get down? I'll go and ask Mum to get some help. Oh, I thought I'd never see dry land again. Oh, look out! We're going to crash! Oh, no! The steering's broken. I can't steer. The wheel won't work. What about your tiller? Oh, no! That's still unsure. We're both drifting now. Oh, I can't bear there's only one thing for it. I'm calling Fireman Sam. Trouble out at sea. Another one. Great fires of London. Norman, Dillis and Charlie are drifting in the bay. G hold on. And Station Officer Steele is stuck on the Flood's roof. Oh, oh dear. I wonder if he's been trying to fly his kite. <laughs> Penny and I will take Venus and launch Neptune. Elvis, you take Jupiter and go to the Floods. Right too, Sam. <laughs> See them. Let's go. Oh, at last, it's Penny and Sam. I'll sort the dinghy out, Penny. And I'll tow Charlie's boat. Norman, throw me your rope and I'll tie you to Charlie's boat. Okay, Sam. And I'll tie you to Neptune, Charlie. should be ashore in no time. Oh, I can't wait to get my feet back on dry land. Don't worry, sir. I'll have you down in a jiffy. Uh, here we go. I'll hold it steady. Oh, dear. Are you all right, Station Officer Steele? Of course I'm all right. I'm fine. All in a day's work, you know. Uh, testing out this kite. Some jobs need to be done by trained professionals. OK, Fireman Sam. Ooh, time for lunch. Floods fry up. 
Now, let's see. I'll have some tomatoes, bacon, ooh, and some sausages. Oh, oh, hey, no, no, ah, I think I'm going to call Bob and Sam. Set fire to his kitchen. There's a fire in the flood house. We can do care. They're all out in Jupiter. Um. So I'm just like a real fireman now, thanks to my radio. This is oh, there it goes again. Jupiter. I'm not sure you should be listening. Can you hear me? Mike Flood's kitchen is on fire. You need to get there as fast as you can. We're on our way, sir. Fireman James to the rescue! Fireman James! Diva, diva, diva. Oh, no! It looks like a fire! <gasps> and Mike might be inside! I need to warn him! Yes, Station Officer Steele. I'm safely outside now. Oh, that's good. Just don't re-enter the building. It could be very dangerous. Oh, Mike, have you seen James? No, Sarah. Ah! He's, he's where? Oh, no. Um, oh, oh, don't worry. He's Fireman Sam. He'll know what to do. Fireman Sam! James is inside! What? No time to lose. <laughs> James! Where are you? I'm in the living room. I can't find my way out. Elvis! <laughs> Switch the electricity off. I'll get James. Take my hand, James. I'll lead you out. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. And the fire's out, too. Thanks, Sam. <gasps> oh, he must have climbed out. Oh, the silly boy. Doing out here. Ah, there you go. Now, where's Woolly? Huh? Ha ha! Don't worry, Woolly. Norman done his way. I see no sheep. Norman! But I can hear Dillis. You don't think he's gone looking for Woolly, do you? Oh, you know how he loves that sheep. Fear not, Dillis. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, uh, I'm sure Penny and Elvis will find him. I'll stay here oh, and keep you company, eh? Oh, thanks, Trevor. But Norman needs me. I'm coming too. Um, OK, Dillis, but you'll have to wear a life jacket. Penny to Sam. I'm going to need your help. Norman Price is out in the flood water. I'm guessing by the field. Right. Uh, I'll stay here then. Keep a lookout for lions, Sam. I will, Bronwyn. I will. Okay. All aboard. Budge up there, lion. I'll soon have you safe and sound. Um, now, keep still, everyone. Oh, um, uh, hey! What? Whoa! Ah!
Can't we take another sweep of the area, Sam? No need. Down there, look. Sam to Penny, Norman is in Breaker's Field. He's in the water, as quick as you can. Thanks, Sam. There you go, Norman. Where's Wooly? Oh, phew. Let me through. Give the officer some space here. Norman Price. <laughs> I might have known. Hello, station officer Steele. Please help my boy. Do you think you can get him free? Step back over there and give me some room, please. Reminds me of a boy who once got his head stuck in a farm gate. Except he was jammed in more like this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Help me. No, I'm stuck. Yes, pull me out. Oh, oh, ah, no. Don't touch that, sir. It's his ears, you see. They're even bigger than mine. Oh, this is ridiculous. We need proper help. It's been a bad, bad day from the moment I awoke. I lost my hat, tripped over my cat, and then my leg got broke. What? Station Officer Steele has got his head stuck in the railings too? But, but Sam and Penny aren't back yet. I'm the only one here. I can't do anything. Or can I? Someone's in trouble. I've got to do something! <laughs> Nina, 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 <gasps> Look! It's Elvis! Crittington? <laughs> Reporting for duty, ready and able. Oh, goodness! No problem. I'll soon have you out. Trevor, get me the pneumatic pump. It's in the back of Venus. Oh, OK, Elvis. Um, women and children first. Oh, my little angel, you are safe. <sighs> Now I need you to free me from my mom. Oh, I say. Ah, that's the ticket. Good man. Um, let's uh, keep this to ourselves, eh, Gridlington? Righty ho, Station Officer Steele. Everything all right? Oh, yes. Everything's fine, thanks to Elvis. He's a hero, Sam. What a fabulous fireman. Fireman Crillington is always ready and able, Sam. Even with a broken leg. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire.